the spam that interrupts your day, the scams that can take your kids or elderly, not so aware people for a financial ride, they can be stopped. How do you do this? We're Little Farmington. It's because Little Farmington can still pass a big ordinance. There are ordinances on the books and in the realm of privacy or potentially theft of property and in the case of scammers, attempted fraud. Okay, Under any of those grounds, we can make legislation for this town that penalizes the caller $5,000. If they're trying to prey on a kid, $15,000. You don't think that'll stop at least some? I think it might stop throughout the state. I mean, everyone with an 860 cell phone, maybe with a 475 or even a 203, lest they now live in Farmington, that has armed itself against scammers and predators. This is a way of standing up. We're slightly inconvenienced, okay? It's not horrible, but why not get rid of the mild inconveniences? Our lives are too crowded as it is now. When you interrupt your work, when your kid is dealing with um, some scammer and doesn't realize it, you got to backpedal in a big way. We can stop that. While we're at it, we should anticipate how we're going to stop even more devastating crimes. When an offender, thief, maybe armed robber, is caught in town, we should have a plan on how to deal with him. That's because things get out of hand. We've seen how out of hand San Francisco is. A lovely city that because of their supposed compassion for people in tough circumstances, now everyone's in tough circumstances, with people defecating on streets, with robberies to stores, and they have these non-enforcement regimens. We should enforce, or at least we should have a plan on how we enforce. A first offense maybe does get the slap on the wrist. Maybe it's more than that. We don't want to see you in this town anymore. Get out. Maybe it is going to court to imprison. Who decides? I suggest it would be in the hands of either a few police officers, not just one, because one arresting officer might be very teed off about the, the, the perp's behavior. Or maybe it is a little tribunal. Maybe it is a single magistrate. But in Farmington, before we let these guys back, we should have pretty stern plans for whether they can come back or whether they're going to be in jail. Planning helps. Don't let nice Farmington turn into a mediocre, or even worse, a decrepit city. I'm Mark Stewart, in your corner.